In this lesson, we will learn about scales and how to work with them. You can always see the scale in the lower right corner. By clicking the left mouse button, we can see the list appearing. If we pay attention, we have two modes, symbol scale and measurement scale. These values for symbol scale and measurement scale will adjust to the selected scale when you change this value. Let's draw two circles with a common point and a radius of 100 units in model space. And after that, set the symbol scale to 1 in 100 and measurement scale similarly. Next, set the size between the centers of these radiuses. As we can see, the distance between the centers of these circles is 20,000 units, but the distance between them is only 200 units in model space. Dividing 20,000 by 200, we get 100. And this means that one unit of model space contains 100 units of the real object. Let's put another dimension between the centers of the circles, but with a scale of 1 to 5. Next, let's pay attention to the size of the text that is displayed in the text group. Currently, the text height is 2.5 units. Now let's switch to the symbol scale mode and notice that the text height has increased by a factor of 100. For the example, let's write any text. And we can see that it has actually changed its size. Working with scaling can be performed on the annotate tab in the annotation scaling group. It contains three main commands, scale list, get scale, and set scale. Let's use the scale list command, which will open a dialog box. This displays a list of base scales for the sheet that we will only use when printing. You can familiarize ourselves with this command in the lesson about printing. Next, select the measurement scale mode as active. The set scale and get scale command set and get values. Let's use the get scale command and click on the dimension with a value of 20,000. We can see that our scale has changed to 1 in 100. Now let's use the set scale command and click on the size with a scale of 1 to 5. The size between the circles has changed its value and the value is now 20,000. That concludes our lesson.